Today is April 13th, Friday, lucky day, 2012. Uh, I'm going to give you a persuasive pe speech to my audience to try to make them believe that uh, marijuana should be legalized in the United States of America. Uh, to say that marijuana has given a bad rep over the past few decades is an understatement. Uh, if, if you're like the most Americans, you have been led to believe that marijuana is a dangerous and addictive drug that has destroyed the lives of millions of teens and adults. Uh, you have been encouraged to believe that marijuana causes lung cancer and is a gateway drug to harder drugs. The government has tried to convince you that most people use marijuana, mo that most people who use marijuana are losers who just sit around on the couch all day and do nothing, which is not so much true. Uh, the war on drugs is an expensive battle as a, gr as a great deal of re resources are used to go into catching those who buy or sell illegal drugs to the black market, prosecuting them in court, and housing them in jail, which costs money, our tax dollars. So you're working, you're working to pay for people to get prosecuted. Uh, these costs seem particularly excessive when dealing with the drug marijuana, as it is widely used and is likely no harmful, more harmful than currently legal drugs such as, or currently legal things such as tobacco and alcohol. Uh, there's a number of costs to war on drugs, however, which is the revenue lost by governments who cannot collect tax dollars on illegal drugs. The current uh, prohibition on marijuana cons consumption exactly parallels the 1920s alcohol prohibition. Uh, this is a proven technology. Uh, we did in the 1933 when prohibition ended. It took 50 years for the U.S. to bring in prohibition and 11 to get rid of it. Uh, certainly no lawmakers who voted for the pro prohibition guessed it would fail on such a large scale, just as anti-marijuana laws have. The existence of the California ref referendum <laughs> shows support uh, is growing to uh, discriminalize marijuana. Even if the referendum fails this year, it serves as a signal that the U.S. is looking forward to a future that doesn't repeat the mistakes of the past. Um, the U.S. debt is around $15 trillion, and um, studies have shown that uh, if marijuana was legalized, marijuana is legalized, it would bring in around 45 uh, billion to a hundred billion dollars, which would cut, which would cut, um, cut the cut the fifteen dollar fifteen trillion dollar debt uh, significantly, significantly lower that. Uh, studies have shown the U.S. Yes, for, for every dollar government collects in alcohol taxes, it expends about nine dollars for such things as Medicare and Medicaid treatment for alcohol-related health problems, long-term rehabili rehabilitation treatment unemployment costs, and welfare. Uh, we do know that according to recent figures, U.S. marijuana consumers number anywhere from 25 million to 60 million people. At an average cost of $5 per marijuana cigarette, also known as a joint, and factored one in one per day for each user, total spending, as I said earlier, uh, could be $45 billion to $100 billion a year. And we could tax that and put that into the, into the purse of the national debt. Uh, and as far as, um, say, bad things, um, alcohol is, the people that die from alcohol um, is way outweighs than, nobody, nobody dies from marijuana, it just doesn't happen. And the people don't beat their kids when they take alcohol, I mean, when they take marijuana, unlike, unlike alcohol, and, uh, other drugs. Uh, like I said, marijuana users are not harming others and like some alcohol users who beat and harm the other people. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism estimates that 25 to 30 percent of violent crimes in the United States are linked to the use of alcohol. According to the report from the U.S. Department of Justice, that translates to about 5 million alcohol-related violent crimes per year. By contrast, the government does not even track violent acts specifically related to marijuana use, as the use of marijuana has not been yet associated, associated with violence. 
Uh, if legalized, governments can control how much marijuana is consumed by increasing or decreasing the taxes on the product. There is a limit to this, however, as setting taxes too high will it cause marijuana growers to sell on the black market to avoid excessive, excessive taxation. <clears throat> when considering legalizing marijuana, there are many economic, health, and social issues we must analyze. With government scrambling to find new sources of revenue to, to pay for important social objectives such as health care and education, expect to see the idea raised sooner rather than later. <clears throat>